Hello, all of you Van Gloriously Wonderful People. With the exploration update earlier this month, Astroneer players across the globe have taken to the skies via their jetpacks. Whether you're just exploring, seeing how high you can fly, or turning your jetpacks into a useful tool, there is one common factor amongst us all the need for hydrazine. Jetpacks can burn through hydrazine at a very alarming rate. Two of my friends and I burned through over 50 canisters of the stuff in about an hour during a recent live stream. That means if you plan on using your jetpack frequently, you're gonna need a lot of hydrazine, which in turn means you need one thing, ammonium. Across Discord and fan sites, I see a common recurring question. What is the best place to get ammonium fast? So I thought I'd put together a few of my ammonium collection methods for you to consider. Granted, you can just use the soil centrifuge or the trade platform for ammonium, but you're gonna need a lot of soil or scrap for those. Personally, I avoid those methods because I can typically collect more ammonium quicker by mining it directly than creating it or trading for it. Of course, before you can even make hydrazine, you're gonna need a couple of other things as well. An atmospheric condenser and then the hydrogen that it collects. The good thing is that you can set up the atmospheric condenser with some larger storage options and then just let the thing run while you go out and collect ammonium. Hydrogen is available on Silva, Calidor, Visania, and Novus, and it doesn't really matter which of those that you set up your atmospheric condenser. Personally, I prefer Silva since it is the starting planet and won't require any additional space travel. And speaking of Silva, it is the first place I want to look at for a source of ammonium. It's also my least preferred. Ammonium can typically be found in many of the wooded biomes on the planet, but I generally avoid it as an ammonium collection method, simply because there's numerous rocks and trees that can not only make collection difficult if you're using a vehicle and drill, but it can also make spotting the ammonium rather difficult if it is not at the edge of a wooded area. On top of that, you will almost certainly wind up with a lot of organic mixed in, since the woods are just full of organic waiting to be extracted. If you need organic, then that's fine, but you do have a limited amount of storage when you're out collecting resources, and if you want to bring back as much ammonium as possible, you're going to wind up spending a lot of time dropping the organic to make more room. Because of all that, I'd suggest getting off Silva as soon as possible and moving on to one of the next two planets. Though I will come back to Silva near the end of the video to talk about another option, but it does contain some potential spoilers, so be warned. Ammonium appears on every planet, but some planets make it a little easier to collect than others. My next preferred place to collect ammonium is on Kalidor. While Kalidor can have some rough terrain in spots, it's typically fairly easy to find your way around those areas and locate ammonium. You'll find it just laying about on the surface, and usually in pretty high quantity. On top of that, you can often find wolframite nearby that can be smelted in the tungsten, so you can collect two resources at once. Now, it can be a little bit easy to get lost on Kalidor since it's all one big desert, so I advise landing as near to the North Pole as possible, so that once you have all the ammonium you can carry, finding your shuttle is as simple as heading north. The third, and by far my favorite place to collect ammonium, is Glacio. Now, I've talked to some players who have a hard time finding ammonium on Glacio, but it turned out they just didn't know where to look. You need to head up to the larger hills on the planet to find it. The red craters rarely have any, and you often won't find it laying about in the flatter areas either. Thankfully, most of the large hills in Glacio have a smoother side that you can drive right up so that you can begin collecting ammonium. I can typically fill up a large rover full of medium silos in about 20 minutes on Glacio, though your mileage may vary. But once you get a feel for where to find it, I think that you're going to agree that Glacio is one of, if not the best place to go when you need ammonium. For both Kalidor and Glacio, and even Silva to a lesser extent, do be aware of your surroundings if you're ever going to be outside of a vehicle. Kalidor has the spawning Attactus, which will lob gas-filled projectiles at you, and Glacio has the volatile Cataplant and Boomaloons waiting to explode you or kill you with a cloud of acid. On Silva, your biggest hazard's probably going to be getting launched by the occasional bounce line. Now, while I prefer to use a rover kitted out with four to six medium silos and a drill, there are other methods. Some players prefer to dig by hand and then pick everything up off the ground. And there's even one clever player who uses her jetpack and a huge platform carrying everything she needs to turn ammonium into hydrazine as she flies around. You can check out Gina's video by clicking the card on your screen. But me, I still prefer the rover method, and I don't often run into any problems. I strip off small sections of the surface, going slightly deeper on each pass until I have collected all of the ammonium in one spot. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there is one other location that I often turn to when I need ammonium. But if you've not gotten very far into the game, this next part could contain some big spoilers. So look, if you're new to Astroneer, I suggest just stopping the video here, or else your own sense of discovery may be diminished by what I'm about to show you. Seriously, stop now if you're new to Astroneer. I've already shown you some great places to get ammonium, and this next one, it's just a bonus. Okay, so here goes, minor spoiler time. The floor of the giant mushroom biome on Silva contains a massive amount of ammonium. This is where I find using a rover with a drill especially handy. 
The area is full of debris, massive rock formations, and other obstacles that can just get in your way. Plus, it can be rather easy to get lost in any cave. So I just turn my drill on and point downwards just enough so that I'm always drilling down a small path that I can follow back. I drive around like this until I find a patch of ammonium to mine. It usually only takes one or two ammonium deposits to fill up my large rover in six medium silos, but there are hazards to watch out for. The hispine is often lying in wait to spray acid at you, and I found numerous dagger roots buried just beneath the surface that would have killed me with a spiky death if I had walked too near them. So, those are my preferred methods for finding ammonium in Astroneer. Using a combination of these methods means I typically have a fairly large supply of hydrazine on hand to not only fuel my jetpack adventures, but to keep my shuttles flying as well. Plus, hydrazine is used in the creation of graphene, which is a required resource for a handful of late game items. But I'd love to hear from you. What methods have you found for collecting ammonia? Leave a comment down below or join the Vainglorious Discord server and talk to us about it there. Be sure to watch for another Astroneer video coming soon where I'll show you a handy little creation for using the jetpacks to quickly unlock gateway chambers on every planet. But until next time, I'm Brandon reminding you to stay Vainglorious.